Alshon Jeff, he'll pull his hamstring because freaking Kyle Fuller used to make him do all kinds of little tricks and stuff when we was in practice. So he'll pull his hamstring this week. He won't be doing jack. Really, nigga? Four man rush. Wentz gets rid of it. Complete. It is Jeffrey who's taking it to his former team. It's a when splits coming and gets it off far side. He's got a completion and a first down. There's Jeffrey, the longtime Chicago Bear, delivering. Willis allows it to happen. First, second down. Wentz pump fake over the middle. Floats it. Touchdown. It's Jeffrey. Fangio gonna throw so much stuff at your old at your old feeble minded quarterback, it won't even be funny. <laughs> Howard is gonna run the ball down your freaking throats. Our zone blocking is gonna cut through your damn defensive line like it ain't shit. Trubisky is gonna bootleg so many times on you bitches, it won't even be funny. Oh, really? You and what army? The record indicates. So we'll see how things continue to develop in Chicago. Look at this, a little razzle-dazzle, but there's no dazzle. Vinny Curry blew it up. As you, you mentioned it, the offenses they played it in college. Trubisky will let it fly. Nope, he's going to be brought down by Fletcher Cox. Oh, since that bullshit's out of the way. My God, <laughs> this guy said the fucking bears. <laughs> the fucking bears. <laughs> Thirty one to three, Eagles dominated. Plain and simple. Sloppy fucking game, but I could say dominated. 31-3, 31-3. Um, other than the fumbles and, you know, Malcolm Jenkins getting the interception and trying to make a big play out of it where he should just fucking hit the damn ground so we can get possession, we should have been up 21 nothing by at least the end of the half. Should have been 21 nothing. But things turned around a little bit, played a little sloppy. Um, Carson Wentz, three touchdowns, 227 yards. Um, he's at 27 touchdowns now, I think. Um, we did really well. And, uh, you know, the Bears, I, I, I said this, I said if we don't keep their, our foot on their fucking necks, we're going to lose this game. But that's how hungry these guys are. Keeping it in this game. Um, not much of a kind of slow start, but, you know, Malcolm Jenkins with the with the pick, which, you know, he tried making a play, fumble, and then um, getting some points on the board. Uh, Carson Wentz is the main deal of, of this offense. Uh, being the magician as he is, getting out of the pocket, making people fucking miss. It, it's absolutely fantastic. Um we literally had, what, every, almost every receiver got the ball today. Everybody got the ball today. Everyone got the ball in their hands today, which I was happy about. Alshon Jeffrey had a good day, 50-something uh, yards, 52 yards um, on his former team, um, and really lit it up, had a touchdown. Uh, it was very exciting. Um, really exciting to see the celebrations of this team, what they were doing out there today, too. It was uh, actually pretty, pretty fucking uh, entertaining. Um, Alshon Jeffrey with uh, 52 yards and a touchdown, like I said. Um, Torrey Smith, you know, didn't have the, you know, the, the best, best day. Um, but uh, I know he got held on a play um, where it could have been a touchdown. So it sucks because Torrey Smith would have had a touchdown, but he literally his right arm was fucking held the whole time and then let go down the field. Would have been a touchdown. So Torrey Smith made whatever chances he had. 
Uh, Matt Collins got a touch of the ball. Um, Zach Ertz had over our first wide receiver. I know he's a tight end, but at least on, you know, the guys going out getting the balls, our first receiving, uh, first receiver going over 100 yards, 103 yards for Zach Ertz today on the fucking day. Um, had, a, had a beast day. I think he had, I think he was targeted, I think 12 times, uh, something like that. 10, uh, between 10 to 12 times. I think it was like 11 or 12. Um, you know, uh, did not really look at the fucking stats, but I'm um, just taking a wild guess. I know he had nine, like by the end of the, um, like middle of the third or whatnot. Um, so Zach Ertz had a big day, um, had a touchdown as well. Um, it's, it's, if we can't see, we're not relying on one player. That's what I like about this offense. We're not relying on one player. We're going in there and we're doing our fucking thing and we're getting the ball to everybody. Uh, Nelson Aguilar had, I think 32, 35 yards, uh, receiving today. Not a big day because everyone's getting the ball. We're not focused on one guy. Um, had a crazy, crazy touchdown. Um, Nelson Aguilar had today. Literally um, got the ball. Carson went through the ball to the flat to Nelson Aguilar. He used his agility and his elusiveness going around one guy and then literally on the from the five yard line, fucking taking a deep jump forward somersault into the end zone. Um, Nelson Aguilar is turning heads and uh, this guy. If you have, if Nelson Aguilar is in open space, which they need to get him more in open space, he is a total mismatch, and he outruns everybody. And, ha I mean, just him jumping to the end zone, I was like, holy shit. Like, I would think he'd, you know, try to, you know, bull rush, you know, to the pylon or whatnot. But, holy fuck, man. Uh, Nelson Aguilar is, is turning it up. And when he gets his chances, he makes his uh, makes makes a lot of it. Um, Carson Wentz had some high throws today. Um, oh, not to mention Nelson Aguilar had uh, the fumble recovery touchdown as well. So I'll count two touchdowns for Nelson Aguilar today because the fumble recovery touchdown. It was, <clears throat> so it should be four touchdowns, not three. Um, so Nelson, Nelson Aguilar had the fumble recovery touchdown in the end zone as Jay Ajayi was running the ball. Almost was getting there to, uh, to, you know, to the end zone. Guy comes in, strips the ball. Rolls in the end zone. Nelson Aguilar comes behind, picks it up, and uh, we get a t free touchdown right there. Um, so that was good. I mean, in that aspect of scoring. Um, um, this, um, Carson Wentz had some high throws. You know, he had some, you know, some high throws today. Um, he missed, you know, I missed a few guys. Um, you know, he, you know, he did as much as he could today. Uh, I'm not gonna, you know, I think he's still the, the fucking guy. I, I don't think, you know, low of him. If he has a bad game, he has a bad game. Everybody has a bad game, but he didn't have a bad game, uh, today. Um, I think he could have had a lot more yards today. Um, but, you know, it, it's all hand in hand. You know, it's, it's not, it's, you, you've got, you got people around you. You give the ball. I mean, everyone's getting the ball. Everyone's getting the touches running back wise. Um, speaking of the running backs, LeGarrette Blunt had a 90, I think it was a 97 yard day, 96 yard day, something like that. Uh, had a really good day. And, and it was like the total opposite. LeGarrette Blunt was pretty much first in rushing. Um, then it was, uh, I think, uh, Corey Clement. And then it was Jay Ajayi. So Ajayi had the less, the 23% less of the carries today. Um, LeGarrette Blount was just bull rushing, getting as many yards. As long as he gets, you know, as long as he gets a, you know, a nice burst, finds a hole, and can get some contact where he can, you know, get some free space. And once he hits contact, he got us another um, on that 20, uh, I think that 30-yard, 30 32-yard run or whatever the hell it was um, that was called back um, from a penalty. Um, you know, he gets another eight, like I think it was like another eight or nine yards. Um, on top of what he got when he when he first got uh, physical on um, people making the tackles. So, um, LeGarrette Blount had a really nice day today. He really did. And Corey Clement is just getting better and better every week. Corey Clement is, man, he's quick. He's very quick. And he changes direction real fast. And he's very elusive. So, uh, I've, I've been happy with Corey Clement, what he's been doing um, so far. And I'm, I'm very, I'm, he's turned my head Um you know, this, this kind of makes a whole point. You know, I, if, if Darren Sproles probably won't be back next year from what we have right now, I don't think he'll be back next year unless it's just for punt returning for like barely the minimum amount of money we'll give him. I don't know, but we'll get into that, you know, later down the stretch. Um, so, you know, did, did we, the running backs did a lot of work today. They did, they did a lot of work today. And, uh, like Eric Blunt, you know, almost had a hundred yard rush, uh, you know, uh, 
almost had 100 yards rushing today, so it's it's always a good thing. Jay Ajayi, um, I know he had a first down. He had a, had, a, had a few all right runs, I think that big, and then he had that long run. Um, I think he's been dying to get a long touchdown, and uh, I think he force-fed himself to try to get to the end zone on the Nelson Aguilar fumble pickup in the end zone. He fumbled it right in the end zone. Um, from I think from like the, the six yard line and the ball rolled right to the end zone. Nelson Aguilar picked it up, like I said before. Um, I know for a fact he was pissed off when he played in Dallas and got that big 71 yard run, um, Jay Ajayi, but um, he was pissed he didn't get to the end zone that time and he was pissed that he fumbled the fucking ball right near the fucking end zone. He almost had it. I think he, I think, <clears throat> I think he force ran it and didn't, you know, keep the ball safe in his hands. Um, so he was pissed about that. He was really pissed. He got to the bench and he was really, he was looking down. He was fucking throwing his hands around. He, he was pissed off. So um, all I could say is that, you know, you know, we just can't be fumbling the fucking ball. <laughs> Not like that. No, because I, I don't know when the last, when's the last time we actually fumbled the ball. I don't even fucking remember. I, I don't know. I might be wrong. I have no idea. Maybe it was Kansas City. I don't know how, how far back we, it, it's been since we fumbled the fucking ball. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it's a good effort. I, I'll give him that, but, um, you know, when it's tight, when it's, it's not, wasn't a tight game, but, you know, we left points off the fucking board over stupid bullshit that happened. So, um, you know, that's where it goes with that. So, um, I'm happy with the running backs did besides, you know, we fumbled a few times or whatever. Um, thank God we weren't playing the best team in the fucking world, but you know, I, I was on my, my heels just a little bit because of the Bears and their running backs and what they had. So let's, we can switch over to the defensive side of the ball now. Um, the defensive line did a great fucking job. Okay. <laughs> Until like the th fourth quarter when we were going like in the neutral zone, like fucking 10, 11 times. I was like, okay, got to clean that shit up because we got a neutral zone on how many times everybody was dominant. Fletcher Cox had a sack brand. Graham had a strip fumble. Um... Uh, had, a, had a strip fumble um, on, on Trubisky. Um, Chris Long did it. Everyone that got pressure today. I think the only person that really didn't really get in there too much was Destiny Vio. And I think uh, I think uh, Derek Barnett was kind of quiet today. I don't even know if he got too much pressure. He was getting a little bit of pressure on the end. But, you know, um, so it wasn't, wasn't that, you know, going crazy. Um, but the D-line got pressure and got, and got it done. And, and honestly, we shut down. Like I said, we made the Bears one-dimensional. We took the running game away seven fucking yards. Seven yards. That's all they rushed for. Jordan Howard and fucking, uh, I said his name the other day, Cohen. Jordan Howard and Cohen. Seven yards rushing. That's it. Jordan Howard is the third best NFL rusher in the league. And we stopped him. And that shows a lot. Okay, shows a lot, and uh, to seven yards for two running backs, I'll take it. Um, I think they put in the third running back for a play or two. I think only one play. I don't even know his name, but I remember they had a third running back in there. They tried out at you know the end of the game. Um, so you know, the defensive line did their shit, did what they had to do. Um, linebackers were quiet today, but they were doing their job. Um, I had really nothing to complain about the linebackers. Joe Walker got hurt. I don't know what's his status now. I was seeing if Ellerby was coming back in, but that wasn't the case. It was pretty much not. They, they put Najee Good in, so Najee Good actually made a play. Um, and then uh, Bradham was calling the plays and then had um, Kendricks on the outside. So um, so that went pretty well. Um, then the secondary, um, secondary did pretty good. I really didn't complain about secondary at all. Uh, Darby was you know, getting as much as possible. He was slapping balls down. Um, they, they, the secondary did good today. I mean, you're not facing, a, a, other than Kendall Wright, that really didn't have a big game at all, which I was surprised because he's actually a good player. Um, you know, the secondary actually did pretty good today. I'm not, I'm not uh, the, the, the Bears didn't get a fucking first down to the fucking, what, the third quarter? They didn't get a first down to the third quarter. We literally... They did not get a first down the whole entire half, which is fucking great. Because, um, uh, you know, Trubisky, man, that's the one thing. He's a rookie. Um, he's hesitant. Um, you know, and unfortunately, the Bears can't handicap him with the playbook. They have to let him feel how he feels, 
to throw wherever he needs to throw. And he made some pretty bad throws. He made, he probably had one good series. Um, he had a, probably two good series he had. He was throwing the ball pretty well. It was near the end of the game. I think we had, I think we had some backups in there. I'm not really sure. Um, but he was throwing the ball here and there. And he's, a, he's got a little bit of, you know, he's a little bit of mo. He's a little mobile. He's a little bit. He's not Carson Wentz mobile, but he's, he could run a little bit, you know, not horrible, not not the best runner in the world, but he could get the yards where he can get it. Um, by the way, Carson Wentz had 27 rushing yards for the day, um, on top of all the rushing that we had. Um, but the the secondary had really no problem. I really had no problem today with the secondary. Did pretty good safeties. I know Malcolm Jenkins, you know, I told you said before, the fucking interception, fucking tries to go all the way around, has the ball loose in his fucking hand, somebody pops it out, wouldn't just go to the fucking ground. So that would have been a pick for him. And you know we fucked up on that. Um, Corey Graham had a late fucking pick in the fourth quarter. Um, uh, I know Ross, uh, Russell Douglas came in. Uh, some backups came in at the end, you know, middle of the fourth quarter. And we thought that he had a pick. But it was called back. It bobbled a little bit. Hit the ground. It bobbled. When he was getting up with the ball, it bobbled. Um, so um, that happened. So we didn't get a pick from that. Um, but you know, t uh, honestly, the the blocking was was great. Um, you know, we had a few we had a few plays that didn't go anywhere rushing wise. Uh, Carson Wentz didn't have to move too too much, um, but uh, I think Carson Wentz definitely threw some inaccurate passes today. Just you know, with the pressure, he had some pressure in his face, so he lobbed it a few times. But most of all, it was a good day. It was a good day for him. Um, and, and you know, it, it's not. It, sometimes it's not just all about the quarterback. Um, you know, he's done a lot on his own to win us games this year. He's done a lot on his own, but I'm just diminishing the defense. I'm just talking about the offense really right now. But offensively, he's done a lot for us, um, extending plays and doing ever. I mean, he was throwing a screen pass to Clement on the left and literally looped around. As soon as he saw it, there was literally three fucking guys coming at him, looped around and, and, and rushed upfield. And, and Carson Wentz isn't the type of guy that's going to go out of bounds unless he, he knows he's going to get fucking hit really hard. He's, he, he, as soon as he sees a crease, he'll go right through it. Lane Johnson was right behind him. Um, and he, he'll go for it, as many yards as he possibly can. That's what he wants to do. Um, unless it's, a, unless it's you know, the S word or it's a playoff game and he has to go past the line and he really needs to get it and he has to go through a bye to go get the fucking the dive in there. Go right ahead, but right now we don't need it because we're already I already knew we were gonna win this game. Um, so I said 30 points in this game, so I was correct on the points scored. I think we should have scored at least another two fucking touchdowns this game. Um, we should have went over 40 points this game indefinitely. Um, so Jake Elliott. Uh, he had one kick that was really bad, like kickoff. He kicked it out of bounds. It bounced. It was a really short kick. Um, it bounced out of bounds. Put him on the 40, but we made a stop, which was good. Um, so it wasn't bad. But, um, you know, his kicks were fine today. I wasn't uh, I wasn't upset about his kicks today. So I'm glad he's back because um, I didn't want to go, you know, going through the whole process of getting another fucking kicker and trying all these kickers out and blah, blah, blah. Taking people off practice squads, other teams, trying out kickers. Don't want to do that. I really want to stick with this guy. I just need him to fucking tackle better and not tackle with his fucking head towards a fucking returner and, and be stupid. Um, but, um, you know, I, I just, you know, I, m mostly this game, um, you know, like I said, like last year, we weren't winning these games. The teams that we should be, be beating, we didn't beat last year. This year, we're beating the teams that we should be beating. Um, teams like... You know, Chicago Bears, teams like, you know, the Chargers that were on an 0-3 fucking losing streak take advantage of the opportunity you, you pretty much have. You understand, like, when it's against a good team, we play well. When it's against a, Now, the difference is this this year, when it's against a good team, we fucking we fight and we fucking play and we win the game. And it's, you know, either a close matchup or we fucking kill them. If it's a bad team, we always fucking struggle. Just a little bit, little nitpick, little itty bitty shit going down the stretch, do we? And then we end up killing them at the end. So we're not going down entirely. But this team is ten and fucking one. The division could be clinched if Dallas loses Thursday night to the Redskins, which I could totally see happening. Um, I could totally see that happening. Um, so. Yeah, 
I, I, I'm, I was happy. I just want to get this win out of the way. The only thing I was worried about with this game, you know, Leonard Floyd, uh, their, you know, the Chicago Bears D end, he was out. I even looked at their injury report. They had about 12 people on injury reserve. I don't know how many are backups or starters, but a few of them were starters. But um, literally, I mean, they have so many people hurt. Uh, that team, especially that, they got, I mean, count it, they got 11, 11 or 12 people on injury reserve right now, it's fucking nuts, like, I can't imagine that many people being hurt, unless, you know, they're backups, or, you know, they're practice squad guys, or whatever, um, so, um, that's how it goes, and that's how it's going, 10 and fucking 1, guys, who the fuck would expect, um, now it's all about, you know, I know it was like that last week, but I'm saying now it's all about, you know, getting that first seed, um, you know, so you saw L.A. play today against the Saints, and the game was back and forth a little bit, but honestly, Drew Brees looked like shit, very inaccurate, throwing balls too high, throwing balls too low. Um, it's like he had no one to throw to out there. Um, the Rams look pretty legit. Goff looks pretty fucking legit. I'm not going to lie. Uh, he actually, he's got a lot of talent around him. He's got a lot of talent around him. They look just like us. They look they look very, very... If you take away Tavon Austin, probably they look exactly like us. I think, you know, the, the Rams play a 3-4. The, the defensive line, you know... Um, what was it? Uh, the, the Saints D-line, I should say. They run a 3-4. So the three-man pass rush didn't really do much at all. At all. I need to... The only thing I need to see about that game when it comes, I'm just kind of just talking about this now for literally two seconds. I just want to see this Rams offense against this fucking pass rush that we have with all the depth behind it. Um, so that's what I really got to say about that, but I'll wait until that week comes to talk about all that stuff. So um, so LA wins that game, and uh, which we needed um, cause, uh, because the Saints were a game ahead um, of the Rams. So... Tying them up together makes a huge difference. One less game to worry about. So, um, <clears throat> overall, um, that's it, guys. Ten and fucking one. Uh, I can't really say. It. Other than that, I heard from people Alshon Jeffrey's not going to have a good game. They held in because of Chicago. Chicago Bears had close games, but today they, they couldn't hold us. I mean, I'm starting to see that. I think we're a very, our defense is very good. I'm not saying that. I'm starting to see our defense is very good, but our defense looks very fucking good. Um, looks very good right now. So uh, I'm, I'm happy about it because these boys step up and uh, this pass rush is great. So we're passing this right now, passing this game onward to Seattle Seahawks at Seattle Sunday night. Big game. So that's where we go to now. Thursday night, we need to watch this game. We need to be Redskin fans for one fucking night. And hopefully they fucking win. Just like the Dallas Cowboys were. We pretty much gave Dallas their first seed last year with the win over the Giants in week 15 last year um, on the night game. I think it was Thursday night or whatnot, whatever the fuck it was. Um, so... Um, 10 and 1, guys. Uh, 10 and fucking 1. Um, it's crazy. Um, but I'm proud of this team. Um, you know, we just got to clean up some shit that we did today. We, we really fucking went off sides too much on defense. Uh, and fumbled the ball way too much today. But I think it was, what, three fumbles today? I'm, I'm thinking three. Um, I think two from Blunt and one from Malcolm Jenkins. Um, so, can't fumble the ball. Because that's gonna that's gonna that's points off the board. We got that we got that interception from Malcolm Jenkins. We would have scored a fucking touchdown. Um, we would have scored a fucking touchdown. Okay, that was at like their fucking forty something yard line. And on top of everything, the fuck else that fucking Chicago Bears punter couldn't punt like fifty fucking yards. He couldn't even fucking punt that far at all today. So bad punting on his part. Um, you know, so we had some you know some good some good uh you know. Good field position most of the damn game, and you know, a, a good amount of time. So, you know, there, there was no reason I didn't think we were going to lose this game at all. It was just a matter of the only, the only team that could stop the Eagles is the fucking Eagles. Is the fucking Eagles. That's it. 
The only team that can stop the fucking Eagles is the fucking Eagles. Really. Because they look very dominant out there, okay? I know there's some games where they look slow start, whatever, but, you know, when it comes to the fucking playoffs, when that time comes, there cannot be fumbles. Not gonna be, there cannot be slow starts. There cannot be anything. There cannot be this much of, this much of fucking up. Because it can all fall apart in two seconds. I know everybody's wishing. All the outside haters are wishing that we're gonna we're gonna fuck up. But they, they have no idea what's coming to them. Okay. I'm not I'm not saying they're going to the final game. I'm not saying a fucking word about it. I'm not not saying a fucking word about it. I'm going week to fucking week, and that's it. Game by game, week to fucking week. See where the fuck it goes, and that's it. The team, every team is imperfect. Okay. We got shit that we have to work on some weeks. It depends. Depends who are, you know, just because, you know, I know people talk shit about Carson and and talk shit about him like, well, Wentz didn't have a big game. He only had 200-something yards. You know what I mean? It's like, dude, like, we ran the ball. You know what I mean? Like, every, every team is different. Every opponent is different. We do shit differently. We're not going to pass 100% of the time against a certain, every game against a certain team. That's why you have people around you. Uh huh. That's that's what I'm saying. So that's where it all makes sense. But I'm I'm gonna fucking go, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this game today. I definitely fucking did. So I had no problem. I wasn't worried. I honestly wasn't like, yeah. I mean, I was. You know, when they scored, I was all excited. But I wasn't. You know, I knew we were gonna get this game in the fucking books in the win column. So we did it. We got this out of the way. Chicago Bears are done. On a Seattle 10-1. Let's go. Let's get the fuck out of here. Fuck you, Judah Tribe. Fuck you, little fucking scumbag. I'm, 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 fuck you. Peace.